In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Logger Pro to create a graph that has uh, uncertainty bars and also how to create a maximum and minimum line of best fit in Logger Pro. Uh, I've already input the data from Chem Thompson's file that we used earlier on in this lesson and so we're going to use that to demonstrate this concept. To get the um, uncertainty bars, we want to double click on the radius square and this is the data and you can see that the column afterwards unc r squared is the uncertainty values for each of the data points um, then we go over to options we want to add error bars sometimes uncertainty bars are called error bars um, and if the uncertainty was constant the same value for each data point which it often is then you could just put that constant in right here but since the uncertainties are different for each data point, we're going to use a column. So we're going to use uncertainty of radius squared as our, as our error bar. And then we click done, and it's done. Next, we'll do the same thing for the surface area. We want to add error bars, and we're going to use uncertainty for the surface area. Done. And there we have it. We have uncertainty bars. Now that we've added uncertainty bars, it's time to add the max line, the min line, and the average lines of best fit. We've already calculated them manually in a previous lesson. So right now I'm just going to use the values that we calculated previously. And the way we add it is we go to the Logger Pro menu up top and we want to click Analyze, Curve Fit. Uh, the curve fit we want is going to be Y equals MX plus B linear and manual. And just put the slope in, 27.7, negative 17, and we get our maximum slope line of best fit. Then we do the same for the other two values. Okay, so here we go. We have the maximum line, the average line, and the minimum line of best fit. 